guys, so today I'm going to do a much requested tutorial of how to turn the African flower, the beautiful African flower, into a square. So for this tutorial or for this sample piece I've actually used the same colour cream um, to make it into a square but I'm actually going to use the fondant colour just to make it a bit easier for you to see but of course you can use whichever colour that you want to use. I'm using a 4.5mm crochet hook, you will also need some scissors and a darning needle to sew in the ends. To start your work you want to make sure that you have your African flower with one petal facing the top because you obviously have six petals so you don't want to have it on the side like this, you want to have it with one petal facing the top and we're going to insert our hook not into this centre petal, half of the petal here, the, actually the one back from there. So I'll just insert my hook so you can see which one I mean, just here. So in this section there's actually a double stitch um, in that particular space from the previous row, so it's just one back from there. So I'm going to go ahead and attach my yarn, and you can do this however you feel most comfortable with but this is the way that I like to do it just because I know that it's super secure. So you want to go ahead and insert your hook and pull the yarn through and what we're going to do into this first section is do a double crochet. Now remember I'm talking in UK terms but I will leave the American terms in the bottom of the frame just for your reference. So you want to insert your hook into the next space and yarn over pull through so you have two loops on the hook and yarn over pull through two. We're then going to do a treble so you want to yarn over insert your hook into the next space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two. Make sure that you're not clinging onto this yarn too tightly because that we're aiming to get this into a straight line going up. We're now going to do a double treble and the way that you do that is yarn over and yarn over again. So you're wrapping your yarn around the hook twice. Insert into the next space, yarn over, pull through. Again, make sure that you're not pulling too tight here. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two again so this is starting to go upwards. You then want to chain two for the corner so that's one and two and we're going to do another double treble into the next space. So yarn over and yarn over again, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two. So this makes the corner. We're then going to do a treble, so it's just yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. We're then going to do a half treble, so the way that we do that is yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, and instead of um, pulling through two and then through two again, we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. We're then going to do a double into the next space, so in, so sorry, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through two, and insert your hook again, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through two. So that creates the corner. We're then going to just slip stitch into this center space here. So you should be at the section where you have two stitches in one space from the previous round. So you want to insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through that loop on the hook just there. Now at this point, we're actually going to do the same but opposite. So it's like a mirror image on the other side because otherwise it doesn't come out into a true square shape. So you want to insert your hook into the next space, yarn over, pull through, and we're just going to do a double, so it's yarn over and pull through again. One more double, so insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, 
and yarn over, pull through again. You're then going to do a half treble, so yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then it's just yarn over, pull through, all through loops on the hook. A treble, so yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And then we're going to do the double treble, so yarn over, and yarn over again. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through the last two loops. We're now ready to make the corner, so you want to chain two. We're then going to do another double treble into the next space. So yarn over and yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And then it's a treble, so yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then a double. So insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And we're actually going to do just doubles all the way across here now. And you want to work your way to this double stitch here. So you would just continue to insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So just pause the video and work your way up to this double stitch here. So I'm up to this section here, so just before that double stitch. And again, we're going to mirror what we've done on the other side. So you want to start off with a double crochet into that next space. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Then going to do a treble crochet, so yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. It's then a double treble, so yarn over twice, Insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Chain two for your corner, and then it's double treble again. So yarn over twice, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two. You then want to do a treble, so yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. A half treble next, so yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook, and a double, insert, yarn over, pull through and yarn over, pull through, and another double, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And this is the same as what we did on our first corner. So you just want to do a slip stitch into the next space, which should be that double um, stitch from the previous row. So it's just insert, yarn over, pull through two. And again, we're just going to mirror image this on the opposite side. So you want to insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and do another double, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through. You're then going to do a half treble. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, all three. A treble, so yarn over, insert, Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then a double treble, so yarn over twice, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two.
pull through two and yarn over, pull through two, chain two for your corner and then do another double treble into the next space. So yarn over twice, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two. You then want to do a treble, so yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and a double, so insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And we are on our flat edge now, so you just want to double crochet all the way along this last side. And then all you're going to do when you get to the end is insert your hook into the top of that very first stitch, yarn over, pull through to connect, yarn over, pull through to create a knot, grab your scissors, cut off, pull out the yarn, pull nice and tight and there you have your square. So there you go, that's how to turn your African flower into a square. Actually now seeing the fondant colour around the African flower, I do actually quite like it. I think it might be nice to do different ones in different colours to create your blanket. Now just as normal, if you wanted to join these, you would put them right sides facing. And you can just double crochet all the way along to actually connect the squares together. I'll leave a link in the description box below of how to do that method. Uh, just in case that's something that you're wanting to do. But I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do have any more requests, please leave me a comment um, down below. Thumbs up if you like this video and please make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with my latest videos. Thank you very much for watching. See you again next time. Bye.